Okay, here's our full air system and I'll have a parts list of where we got everything. We've got our head pipe coming into our air-cooled after cooler. We've got a carpet blower for drying carpet that is high volume and blows a pretty good wind through here. And it comes out here into a cyclonic separator. It leaves the cyclonic separator and goes into the tank right there. On this side, we did have just an air hose plugging into the tank, but now we've got a, a filter regulator. We have a, a shut off valve. We can turn this on. We got 120 pounds going into the shop. This is the Quincy QT5, five horsepower. 80 gallon tank, it's two stage, 175 PSI, but we don't want 175 PSI going into the shop. So I've regulated it to 120 and I've used a galvanized pipe to go into the shop. Now I've tightened all these joints extremely tight and I use a union so that I can clock the inside pipe right because if you don't have a union then one of your fittings is going to end up being loose so you must have a union if you want a good easy seal and our wire for our fan is going our cord is going into the shop to plug in but it will be coming over here to the box that starts the motor and we'll take it off uh, leg of this 220 to power the 110 fan so that the fan only comes on when the contacts are closed and compressor is running. We don't want to waste electricity. And here is where it comes into the shop. Here's the cord for the fan. We've got the junction block here of the piping kit. Now we've got a, a hose drop down here. This is push to fit piping. You just push the the nylon pipe into the fittings. Here's a T here, and we're going over to the other building. I drilled a hole through both buildings and put this big two inch pipe conduit through the holes so that the uh, nylon piping could go through to the other shop. And then the T carries on from here, goes over to the next junction block, which we have to attach it to the wall, but we've got an air fitting and a drain, which there's not going to be any water in the air, so the drain is kind of irrelevant, but if we want to later, we can put a another hose on here, and then we're connected to the conduit with zip ties, and then this, this one here is mounted to this plywood and it's solid, so we'll put some plywood on the wall over here because this is sheetrock. We'll put some a plywood plate there to screw this to and use wing bolts to hold the uh, plywood to the sheetrock. Here we are in another shop and there's the pipe coming out of the, out of the wall and the tubing is coming through and zip tied to the conduit here tip side to the conduit. Got another drop down here. The hose plugged into it. Zip tied to the conduit. Got another drop down here. Zip ties to the conduit. And a fitting here, plug a hose into, we'll mount it to the wall somehow. So please touch my like thingy and share my shizzle and subscribe, damn it!